We start the news at 6 with the University of Tennessee Health Science Center mourning the loss of a medical student. The victim of a tragic shooting that broke out at a breast cancer walk over the weekend at Shelby Farms Park. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skirlock. And I'm Greg Kirsch. Memphis police say Ellie Young was killed by her ex-boyfriend after a recent breakup. WRG Shea Simon has that story. A 22 year old Memphis medical student described as walking sunshine, kind, smart, humble, genuine and a role model. Tonight, family, sorority sisters and UTHC classmates mourning the loss of Ellie Young. Swear or affirm that the information you give me today will be true and correct. Yes, Her ex-boyfriend and accused killer, 26-year-old Jackson Hopper, appearing before a judge Monday as he is held with no bond. You can see here his eye is nearly swollen shut. WREG obtained this video of his arrest Saturday on Highway 51. Officials say he led law enforcement on a multi-county chase before crashing in Dyer County. Memphis police say Hopper shot and killed Young in a parking lot at Shelby Farms Park. Witnesses say the area was packed with families for a breast cancer walk. I was walking towards my car and the young lady getting her Jeep and a man came back in a white car and shot her twice. And it's so sad. The sound of gunfire sitting everyone running for safety. And they said, a man just shot somebody. I went, what, what, what? And I was thinking about all the babies. There were babies out there. Tonight, Young's UT Martin sorority sisters say the world is a darker place without her. For your news leader in Memphis, Shea Simon, WREG News, Channel 3. Now, Hopper is scheduled to be back in court next Monday for a bond hearing. A link to a fundraiser for Ellie Young is on our website. Just click on this story. Community members, by the way, in Young's hometown of Halls will also be hosting a candlelight and prayer visual in her honor. That's tomorrow from 7 to 8 in the evening at Critchfield Park, located on Love Street in Halls. You're asked to bring your own candle. There will also be index cards and pens on site for the community to write their favorite memory of Ellie. Organizers say they'll be collected and then put into a scrapbook for her family. Her Chi Omega sorority sisters at UT Martin will also hold a vigil at the sorority house on campus. Tonight, many are reacting to the senseless death of Ellie Young. The Bartlett Touchdown Club released a statement on Facebook saying, please keep Coach Zach Harris and his family in your prayers as they try to navigate life with the horrific tragedy of losing his sister-in-law. Ellie is the beloved sister of Coach Harris's wife. Her death comes not long after getting into medical school. And District Attorney Steve Mulroy is also reacting tonight. In a statement, he says, Ms. Young's case underscores the critical need to address the widespread issue of domestic violence and intimate partner violence. If you or someone you know is in an abusive relationship, Shelby County offers the 24-hour Family Safety Center hotline for help. The number is 901-222-4400.